Minutes ago, AMD and the Kronos Group just officially ratified the Vulkan API 1.0 specification, and that's big news for the development industry, especially as it pertains to games. The APIs, or application program interfaces, are used as a gateway between the hardware and the game itself, and they interface with the OS as well, so they are very important and actually not something you can bypass in the process of developing a modern game. So most games, as many of you know, run on some form of DirectX, whether that's 11 or maybe 12 in the near future, or OpenGL. And Vulkan is a, an adaptation of OpenGL. It is the future of OpenGL. It was previously called OpenGL Next. That has been renamed. It is now Vulkan. And Vulkan also consumed a major part of the AMD Mantle project, which had very similar objectives, and that is to bring the coder closer to the hardware. So they're going lower level. This is something you'll see widespread through engines as they adopt these newer APIs and enable developers to get somewhat direct access to the hardware. So that is very good because it allows the bypassing of a CPU bottleneck by pushing several items, like draw calls, geometric draw calls, from the CPU to the GPU. And that reduces the bottleneck, that reduces workload on the CPU, and it moves things over to a parallel processor instead. So the news today, the Vulkan API 1.0 specification has been ratified. That means it is basically finalized, and the development can move forward. AMD is pushing out a beta driver for Vulkan support. So I, don't, I think this should hit today. It is not clear. It wasn't made clear in the press release that we got yesterday, but the beta driver should be available pretty immediately for developers who want to begin working with Vulkan. And in terms of games that immediately support it, the only one we're told of is the Talos Principle. So that game will have Vulkan API support immediately from what I understand, what I've been told. I don't know whether the driver and the game will work, how, how it'll work with toggling things, but of course as the driver rolls out, we will immediately begin testing and see what we can find out with Vulkan and the Talos Principle and other relevant games. In terms of games in the near future, AMD didn't have a list for us that we could publicly produce just yet, but I can tell you that from a previous interview of ours with CIG's Chris Roberts, the Star Citizen team is looking at Vulkan very seriously, and it's something that they might adopt as they move outward from the DirectX 12 uh, adoption that they're performing right now. They're adapting that to the Cry engine, and that is still in conjunction with DirectX 11 optimizations for Star Citizen. So those are the two major games that in the somewhat future for Star Citizen, immediate future for Talos, that support Vulkan. You can hopefully download the driver pretty immediately, and the spec is finalized, so you can go look that up if you're a developer or if you're just a curious person in the industry and find out what exactly that means and how it differs from DirectX 12. So that's the big news for today. Check out the link in the description below for the article on this news item if you want to learn a bit more. And we've got some other videos on the channel. Search for DirectX 12 and you'll find a couple videos, especially with Chris Roberts if you want to learn more about the CIG Star Citizen endeavor with APIs. So that is all for this time. Subscribe if you like the content. Hit the Patreon link if you want to help us out directly. And thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.